Hello everybody. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and joining the Latino Commission on AIDS on this second and last 2018 General Network Call. My name is Luis Alberto Mares. I am the Director of Community Mobilization Programs at the Latino Commission on AIDS and the coordinator of the National Latino AIDS Awareness Day since last year. Um, before we continue, um, some housekeeping information. As you know, all the lines have been muted to avoid noise interference. Uh, but please write your questions or comments in the chat box option in the platform on the lower part of your screen. Uh, this meeting also is being recorded, so I can share it later with everybody who is attending and who is not attending the call, and also in our um, social media and website. Um, well, I'm very happy to share that we have launched, uh, finally, the NLAT 2018 campaign uh, this week. And the agenda for this call is to share with all of you what we have done in the past two months since our last call. Um, uh, it was in July, if I don't remember, if I'm not mistaken, our last call. So in two months, we have developed the campaign for this year. And we're going to talk about the theme for this year and the poster. Uh, the HIV testing kits, donations that we secure, the changes in the website, registration, how to register events. Um, there is some available grants in New York State that people can use. Materials that are available in our website you can download and use. The webinars that we schedule, a little bit about HIV.gov and our social media and the press conference that we're going to help uh, in New York City uh, a week before NLA. Um so, let's start with the NLAT 2018 theme and poster. Uh, after we gather information from the Leadership Council call and the National um, the General Network call, um, we got together here at the Commission with our graphic department and the uh, advertising company that works with us um, every year. Um, we came up with a theme, which came, uh, it is Ending HIV is Everyone's Job. In English, o erradicar el VIH es labor de todos in Spanish. With this, what we want is to uh, um, ensure that everybody, uh, convey the, the, the message that everybody, whether you are positive or negative, whether you work in the field or not, you or us, everybody, has a role, has um, something to do in this fight against the epidemic, the HIV epidemic. So, um, with the theme already developed in ending HIV, it's everyone's job. We work on the poster. Uh, in the poster, what we wanted is to um, put emphasis in the tools that we have now uh, that we can use uh, to fight the epidemic. Uh, so in the first line ending in English or erradicar in Spanish, what we see is a, a lab tube with blood, which uh, represents testing. As we know, one in seven people living with HIV doesn't know they have a virus, so it's very important to still um, promote testing, HIV testing. And then we wanted to focus on prevention, and as you can see, the pill, the PrEP pill is represented in the second line, and condoms. We are still uh, reinforcing the use of condoms is, is useful to prevent HIV and to prevent any other STDs. Uh, last but not least, we wanted to focus on treatment, treatment and prevention, uh, how important it is that people who is HIV positive uh, remain in care, uh, adhere to treatment, and reach by suppression and undetectable levels of virus. Um, and, and we focus on the last campaign, the newest thing, which is U equals U in English, or E igual E in Espanol, uh, which means um, detectable equals untransmittable. Um, putting emphasis on this, working and, and trying to um, fight stigma of people living with HIV. So now people living with HIV do not pass the virus to other people if they are undetectable. So we are using these four tools that we have available now to fight HIV um, nationwide. So we first um, unofficially launched the campaign on August 16th when we send an email blast to all our network informing that even though the website wasn't ready yet, we opened uh, the registration of the event and we also opened um, the form where people could request HIV test from us for their annual campaign. And recently, this week, 
we launched the campaign officially um, yesterday with another um, email blast to all our networks with the information about what the theme of this year is, what um, um, the poster is because it's attached to the email, and some information, current information on the HIV uh, data, and also links to our website, uh, information in our website, uh, resources, webinars, and customizable poster in our website. So, uh, as every year, we have secure uh, HIV test kit donations. Um, a maximum of 25 kits can be sent to uh, organizations that are organizing, uh, hosting annual events and request tests from us. But for this, it is necessary to register the event first. And once the event is registered, you can fill the request form. When we receive all this um, information from you, we process the request with the laboratory and they will mail directly to you uh, the HIV test. What we're going to do this year after NLAT is require a request information from NLAT events that have used, um, that have had testing in, as part of it uh, to know how many people were reached, how many people were um, tested, and how many positive results we have had in those events. Um, Insti, uh, people requested, um, in the first call, if, uh, if you guys remember, somebody uh, asked us why not INSTI, and so we reached out to INSTI, and thank you very much for the link, the, the connection that we received. Um, we were able to talk to somebody in Florida, and then this person contacted us with the main office in Vancouver. So we have INSTI tests this year for um, those organizations and events that request tests. And we were able to meet personally in USCA with a representative for INSTI, as well as from Orasure and Abbott, which is the year. We also have Orasure Technologies uh, donating this test kit, testing kits for NLAT events uh, in the country. Whoever requires ORA quick advance, HIV 1 and 2, they will receive 25 kits, as well as a LEAR determining, uh, which is Abbott now. Uh, so we have three possibilities. We have INSTI, from Biolytical, we have Orquick from Orasure, and we have Alier from Abbott. Yeah, those three options can be requested from uh, the testing kit donation request form that can be found in our website, as we will see in a few minutes. So um, the website, the website is finally updated completely. Um, we didn't change the format from last year because we find out it's very um, um, useful, easy to navigate. So we kept the format from last year, and we're going to keep it like this um, for the future. Um, we have the main page, uh, which the poster and the message is uh, promoted, and we also have the four sections in we have information on each one of the things that we mentioned. Taking the HIV test, consider PrEP as a prevention method, Stay undetectable, U equals U, and use condoms. So the four topics that we uh, talk about in the poster is also talk about in the website. So this is something I like to put some emphasis, um, the registration of NLA events. Uh, you can go in our website. Uh, let me do this with, okay. In our website, and there's a menu on the top. So in that menu, uh, one of the um, possibilities is registration. And once you click on registration, a uh, sub-menu will appear with register your event and request HIV test. If you click on register your event, it will take you to this page. Um, there is a form that you have to fill the information, very simple information, very direct information about the title of the event, um, what organizations are hosting the event, when, where, time and place, um, if you're going to have a testing or not, um, etc. But it's very simple, it's very easy to fill, and once you fill that information, you click at the end, send, and we will receive your information on the event. Or you can also go to the link on the top, H, um, that li uh, and let to have an registration I will take you directly to this page and um, on the website in the same tab registration the sub menu the second line is request HIV test 
So this is the link to request HIV test um, as I mentioned for your online event. When you click there, it will take you again to a different page where we, you will have to fill again very simple information about the title of the event, the contact of the person, the address where you want the test be, to be sent, and what type of test you want. And the direct link to that page is on the top, uh, NLAT 2018 underscore or the form underscore HIV underscore testing kit. Um, very important, uh, please first register the event. Once the event is registered, you can request HIV test. We have received, I still have nine requests for HIV test that I haven't been able to process because the event has not been registered. So um, this is the information that I wanted to share. I want uh, to, to process every uh, request that we have um, received from different organizations around the country, but for that you need to register the event. I have contact the people who have requested without registering. I have email. I have sent the posters already uh, by mail with a letter. So everybody who has registered an event is receiving a posters, um, printed posters, um, five in English and three in Spanish. And I also have sent posters to those organizations that have had England events uh, in the past, like last year, for example, and um, some other organizations, some people who is helping us to promote the, the event. So what happened when you register your event? Uh, when you register your event, we receive that information and the event is added to the calendar in our website. Um, also, on the main menu, uh, there is a tab that is events. When people click on this tab, it takes you to this page um, where a list of events will appear. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is an event that's going to happen on September 29. Is a health fair in Greenville, South Carolina. So uh, the event, as I mentioned in the, in the first call that we had, doesn't have to be a, a, a specific type of event. It can be just a thing, but it can be a health fair, it can be a party, it can be a festival, it can be anything that you decide to do. Um, you just have to give us the information, and we post the information in our website. For example, let's go to the third one, uh, the Festival Latinx in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, when, when you click on that, this is what will appear. Um, the poster that the organization sent to us, the location of where the event is going to happen, the date, the name, and all the details that we've been provided about the, um, in the event. Um, everything that you pro every information that you provide to us will appear in this page. So as I mentioned, um, for some organizations, uh, um, specifically here in New York State, there are grants available um, that you could request to um, fund your event. There is up to $3,000 available for an NLAT event, and if you are interested, if you are in New York and you are interested in applying for an NLAT event funding, please, you have to submit the following. An agency overview that shouldn't be more than one page. The description of the activity that you plan to have, the annual event, it shouldn't be either um, no more one than one page. Uh, the goal of your event, what do you expect to uh, achieve, what are your projected outcomes, and the budget. And those should be submitted to Betsy Morales by email, Betsy Morales from the Hispanic Federation, at bmorales at hispanicfederationaltogether.org. And it should be submitted before uh, the end of this week. Going back to the website, um, on the main menu we have materials. Uh, there is three different um, sub-menus, print, webinars, and um, event planning guide. So let's go to print. Uh, when you click on print, uh, three things are going to appear uh, all together in the same page. First, the materials, posters to download. Um, Aside from receiving posters mailed by, as printed in different type of paper, you can print your own um, posters if you want, different sizes. Um, but also the, the important part here is that there is, uh, as every year, 
this poster with an empty space in a PDF version that you can download and fill with the information of your agency and the event that you're planning to hold. So this is the uh, fillable or, or poster that we have every year. Uh, we have it again this year to be able to be um, able to be downloaded from our website. Um, infographics. Um, we are in the process of um, creating new infographics, which are going to be different from last year. The ones from last year are still available. Uh, the information is current. We try. We check with the last CDC report. The information hasn't changed much. So we decided not to update, update these ones, but to create different ones with um, some sort of uh, different information that are going to be available in the following days, um, in a couple more days. Also available to download from our website, the materials menu, um, social media resources. These uh, images are uh, banners from websites, um, banners from Facebook, for Instagram, um, the vertical, horizontal versions, and different things that can be used when you promote your event, when you want to promote Enlight in your website, or when you want to promote Enlight in your social media accounts. So, um, also based on the information we collected from the calls that we had two months ago, um, we had scheduled webinars for this year, and the webinars topics were based on the information that we collected, as I mentioned. And they were also scheduled based on availability of presenters. We have scheduled one webinar per week. We promote, uh, you have received probably our email blast with the information on the webinars. And it's, it's through this same platform that we're using today, that they talk. So we have six webinars this year. The first one already happened. The first two already happened. The first one was on September 12th. And it was about U equals U, and it was given by Bruce Richman, who is the founder of U equals U campaign in the States. Um, it was very well attended. We have more than 180 people attending. Um, and the second one, also well attended, was about the conference, the eighth conference in Amsterdam this year. And it was presented by Vincent Guillermo Ramos on September 19th. Our third webinar is going to happen tomorrow. So please join us tomorrow. It's going to be about the impact of HIV in Puerto Rico, and it's going to be given by Lisette Marrero from HHS. And then we have three more. Uh, the fourth one is going to be the following week, efforts in ending the AIDS epidemic nationwide, delivered by Joanne Moore, the director of the AIDS Institute of the New York State Department of Health. We're going to have finally our webinar in Spanish. I hope people from Puerto Rico and different parts of Spanish-speaking areas can join us. It's going to be also about the Amsterdam 2018 conference. Um, a little bit different to the other one. It's been going to be given by Carlos Maldonado from the Latino Commission on AIDS. And our last webinar will be on October 17th about HIV and hepatitis C co-infection by Paul Porter from the American Liver Foundation. These are the posters that we use for our webinars. Uh, we are sending these in every um, email blast about webinars, uh, invitation for the webinars that we sent already. Um, once the webinar happens, um, you can also um, see the recording of the webinar in our, in our website. Also in, materials, we, in the materials tab, you can click and there are going to be three different um, submenus. The second one is webinars. And when you click on that, it will take you to this page where the webinars are being uh, uploaded on the webinars and this type of conference calls that we're having as well. So if you missed one webinar, if you were not available to attend, uh, you can always go to our website, click on the webinars, and see the webinar there. Um, the last thing that we have, um, the event, the, the in, in materials tab, is the event planning guide. Um, this is a guide, it's, it's, it's a little bit long, both in English and in Spanish, where people who haven't had um, England events in the past can have some guidance on how to um, participate in England, how to create, organize an event, how to fundraise your event, and how to communicate with elected officials and, and public announcement services. I'm only showing here a few of the pages because uh, it will be too long. Um, 
but how to prepare your NI event, uh, sim sim simple letter to elected officials, why 10 ways to participate, and it's the welcome letter that we have every year. Finally, um, the NLAC 2018 press conference in New York will happen on Wednesday, October 10th uh, at 11 in the morning. And we're asking to every organization that are our partners and participate in NLAC, if you are in New York City, please come attend the press conference with us. Bring your um, um, organization's uh, uh, signs uh, and join us uh, for this event. Um, also, in UCA, at USCA, we have the chance to meet once again with HIV.gov um, and strengthen our relationship with this organization for the government, and uh, they are also promoting NLAT in their webpage and through their communications. As you can see, NLAT is here as one of the uh, HIV AIDS Awareness Days during the year. So, we also have social media uh, accounts. And, and the website in the last part, as you can see here, there's like four si signs about social media. So we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Facebook, um, here we share um, every communication that we have um, more, uh, more frequently than our website. So please, if you have a like our page, uh, you can like our page at Official Analyst on Facebook. You can follow us, you can post, you can comment, you can contact us also through Facebook. Same thing as in Twitter. Um, Twitter is at NLAT. Please follow us on Twitter so you can um, receive information from Twitter, where, from us through Twitter uh, even more frequently than through Facebook. Uh, Instagram, official NLAT, the same thing. Please follow us. And we have a channel on YouTube where we upload all these calls and all these webinars that we have for this year. Um, so the hashtag for this year is going to be NLAT 2018. And what we're asking from everybody in our network is to share information about NLAT within your network to organizations in your area, in your city, in your state that you work with and that uh, might be able to um, spread the information as well and participate in NLAT. We're also asking to organize and host an NLAT event, if possible, with HIV testing. Register your event in our website. Uh, request HIV testing kits from us if you need so. Uh, use available resources like the grants that I mentioned from our organizations in New York. Use the NLAT materials from our website. Use social media and regular media to promote your event. Follow us in social media accounts and report your results to us if you can, please. And if you are in New York City, attend the press conference. Um, NLAT is on October 15. Uh, this is the theme for this year again, ending HIV is everyone's job. Um, and what's going to happen after October 15 for NLAT, we're going to request information from uh, events that happen for our evaluation because we would like to know the number of events that are happening in the country, the amount of people that were reached, the amount of HIV tests that were performed, and the amount of HIV tests uh, that resulted uh, positive. And with this information, we will have a report from this year for um, next year um, for all of you and for the organizations like the, the laboratories that are donating testing kits. So um, if you have any questions, if you have any comment about NLAT, um, if you, you can um, um, share with me here in the box or you can contact me directly. Uh, El Maris Latino Asia Org. If you want posters and you haven't received them yet, you can email me with your contact information and I will send them to you. So, I have the questions here. The Spanish marketing materials link back to the English versions. Possible to change that? I will check on that, Lisa. Um, I will see. Um, I, I think the materials are both in English and Spanish in the same page, so probably. I will check on that and I will, if there is a mistake there, I will change it. Uh, Brandon Lee, uh, how would you like to report results? I am going to create a, a form uh, that I'm going to send uh, by email to everybody who is um, uh, having an NLAT event. Um, I still haven't created the form. It's going to be a simple form, that's a simple as like the one that I'm using to raise certain events. So I, I just want to know very um, specific details about the events. Thank you. 
So anybody else, any other questions or comments, please? Um, you're welcome, Lisa. There it is, Brandon. Um, yeah, those are the information that I'm going to request from um, people that are hosting NLAT events, specifically those ones who are having HIV tests, and even more specifically for those ones who are requesting HIV tests from us. The web page, uh, Karina, how are you doing? Uh, the web page is www.nlat.org. Showing it right now. That's it. That's the website, Karina. It's www.england.org. I'm sorry, I forgot to put it here in the web in the in the slide. Um, everything uh, that you would like to know from the campaign is on the website. Um, if you, if we, we have uh, the English and the Spanish version, most of the information is in both languages in the website, and whatever is still in work will appear soon, like the uh, infographics that will be uploaded uh, in the following days. Any other question for anybody? Or comment or suggestion? I will send this presentation by email to everybody who attended today, uh, and also for those who didn't attend. And as I mentioned, the recording will be available um, before the end of the day today as well. Um, no more questions? <laughs> So I want, again, um, to put some emphasis. Please register your events. Um, Virginia Herrera Paramo, la versión española de los caracteres informativos, señor. OK, voy a, voy a revisar eso, Virginia. Uh, tan pronto termine en, en, en el website, me imagino, ¿no es cierto? Voy a revisar eso inmediatamente. Gracias, gracias por esos, esos errores que a veces suceden y uno no se da cuenta. Um, nuevamente, please register your events, register sus eventos. Es importante para nosotros, es importante para nosotros saber how many events are happening in the country um, and where in the country are those events happening. Um, so please go to the website, go to the link when you register your event, and please register your event. Uh, we have right now, up until today, 40 one racer event, but we have like nine more that have requested uh, tests without racering. Um, I receive emails and phone calls from people that are saying that they're going to racer, but as, as it hasn't happened yet. So please, if you are having an online event, racer is very important. And you can also request a Chevy test from us. The sooner the better. Don't, spend, don't wait until the last moment uh, so things happen smoothly. Any other questions, suggestions, or um, comments? All right. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me today for this uh, informative web, web webinar or conference call about NLAB. Um I wanted to present this as we have lunch the campaign uh, in a few days um, ago, and I hope everybody uh, can participate in NLAD this year and have an event um, and share the information and work together with us and work together with everybody in getting this epidemic that we are all together into this. So thank you very much.
Um, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, if you join us with a webinar on the impact of HIV in Puerto Rico with Lisa Marrero. Thank you, guys. Um, have a good night and enjoy the rest of the day.